the dog. When I was little, my granny got a new dog. I went to visit my granny and her new dog with my daddy. Willie came too. In the park, on the way to granny, we saw lots of dogs. I wanted to play with the dogs. Can we play with the dogs? No, we don't know the dogs. Daddy said no. He said we should leave the dogs we don't know alone. I had fun just watching the dogs. Granny's dog was called Herbie. Hello! You come and see. I asked to see Herbie. It's Herbie. He's in the kitchen having breakfast. Granny said we should leave Herbie alone when he was eating. We just watch. Daddy was looking in a cupboard. Daddy was trying to find a dog bed for Herbie to sleep in. Daddy found his old drum set. I made lots of noise on Daddy's drums. Then I heard another noise. Oh, 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 oh. Shh, Tink. Herbie doesn't like the noise. Herbie was barking in a rage. I didn't like Herbie barking. Daddy found his old space hopper. The hopper was fun. I bounced around the garden. Come on, Herbie. Let's see what's happening. Come on. I bounced up to Herbie. Herbie barked. Herbie looked scary. I didn't like Herbie. Listen, Tig, I think I'd better take him back inside. He's getting too excited. Granny took Herbie back inside. Here's one bed for Herbie. Daddy found a bed for Herbie. Do you want to come for a walk with Herbie? No. No, I said. I didn't like dogs. OK. Hey, Tig, you don't like Herbie because you don't know Herbie. You need to get to know Herbie in just the same way Herbie needs to get to know you. Ruff. So what does Herbie like and what does Herbie not like? Granny says Herbie likes to eat in peace. Ruff. When you did your drumming, you found out that Herbie doesn't like loud bangs. When you bounced up to Herbie on the space hopper, you found out that Herbie gets frightened easily. He's like most dogs. And Herbie's barking, ruff, is his way of telling you what he's feeling. Ruff, ruff, woof, woof. So when you meet Herbie again, be very quiet and still. Don't touch Herbie until Granny says you can. That way, you'll get to know Herbie. Yes, I thought. I want to get to know Herbie. I want to like Herbie. Uh, can I see Herbie? Yeah, come on. I'll be very quiet. What a great girl. Granny was getting Herbie ready for his walk. I was very quiet and still. That's a good girl. Granny said I could stroke Herbie gently. That's it. Now, do you want to take him out? To the we took Herbie to the park. Oh, I like getting to know Herbie. Oh, got Herbie Here he goes. Come on, give us it. Come on, give us it. I'm not sure if he likes my toy spider yet. It's only my toy spider. I like Herbie. And I love Willie. We've been guests since we were here. Big stumps. Look, what's that big red white? When I was what's little, that? I went on a holiday. That's not a fairy. We went on a boat to the holiday. I liked the boat. Willie liked the boat too. At the holiday, we lived in a caravan. The caravan was like a little house. My friend Angel and my friend Timmy were on the holiday too. There were lots and lots to do at the holiday. 
There was a swimming pool with a bridge. Every day there was showtime. Hey. Mr. Tonka played the piano. Lady. Daddy was funny and said nonsense. For your delectation. Mummy did a poem about a cat. The owl and the pussycat went to see. I like showtime. I made two puppets. Bernard and Bumpy. Bernard and Bumpy danced. <laughs> Everyone laughed. There was a big room with lots of games. Mummy and Daddy played a funny game called badminton. They hit a feathery thing. I wanted to hit it too. I couldn't hit the feathery thing. OK, you ready, Tig? Oh. Oh. It's cross. Tig. Daddy looked cross too. Angel did skipping. I wanted to skip like Angel. I couldn't skip like Angel. I was cross. Angel looked cross too. Timmy played another game, table tennis. I couldn't hit the ball. I was cross. Timmy looked cross too. Hi, Tig. You OK? No. I was cross. I was making everyone else cross too. Hey, Tig, there's nothing wrong with feeling cross. You're just feeling cross because you can't do some of the things other people can do. Skipping like Angel. Skip, skip, skibbity woo! Playing the badminton game like Mummy and Daddy. Pip, pop, pip, pop, pip, pop. Playing table tennis like Timmy. Ping, pong, ping, pong, pingity pong. But one day, when you're older, you'll be able to do all those things and lots more. But Tig, there's lots of things you can do now. You can make people laugh with your puppet shows. Hello, I'm Bernard. And I'm Bumpy. Hey, Tig, go and get rid of your cross feelings so they don't hurt anyone else. Go and have a good stomp. Then have fun making everyone laugh. <laughs> yes, I thought. I don't want to make anyone else cross. I shall have a stomp. I stomped into the ball pool till I was laughing again. <laughs> At showtime, I made everyone laugh with my stompy dance. When Mr. Tonka saw Willy, he got a fright. I saw the toy spider. I like making people laugh. I love Willy. We've been guests since we were three. Hola. When I was little, I went on a holiday. A long, long way away. Don't forget Willy. Willy came too. When we arrived at the holiday, it was in a hotel. I was asleep. In the morning, I woke up. We were in a big room with stripy bits of sun. Mummy, where are we? We're on holiday, Tig, in Spain. Tig, come and see this. Help me open the shutters, said Daddy. Outside was our very own little balcony. Tig. Through the trees, I could see the sea. At breakfast time, we went onto the hotel roof. That's funny, I thought. Wonderful. Having breakfast on the roof. Everything was different on holiday. After breakfast on the roof, we heard some shouting. 
Daddy said, hey Tig, come and look at this. Tig, come and see this. We looked round the corner and there was a swimming pool. That's funny. A swimming pool on the roof. Mummy we put sun cream on me and a big sun hat. Right, ready? Okay. Then we went out to explore. Everything was blue and green and white and beautiful. Nothing was quite the same. Mummy liked the shops. At one shop they sold dresses. They were pretty dresses, but they looked different. Hola, son vestidos muy bonitos. Would you like one? said Mummy. I wasn't sure. Everything was all a bit strange. Daddy found some ice cream. Egg, have you ever seen ice cream like this before? The ice cream was all different colours. Flavours. And piled up into mountains. We went to look at the sea. The sea was so big and blue. Way down below was a beach. There were fishing boats and straw umbrellas. Shall we go in the telescope? Yeah. We look through a telescope. Can you see anything? We could see fishermen and their fishing nets. Maybe we can go down on the beach for a swim soon, said Daddy. I wasn't sure. Everything was so different. Everything was so hot. Hey Tig, when you go on holiday and visit new places, nothing is ever quite the same. There are so many little differences. But that's what makes a holiday all the more fun. La 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 I go to new places, there's lots of new faces On my holidays, the change is amazing The sun can be blazing On my holidays, I can't stop my smiling I find it exciting On my holidays La 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 And your treats and your meals that you eat On your holidays The view's ever-changing The palm trees are waving On your holidays New sounds and new smells And the ringing of bells tingling On your holidays You love all your holidays So different from every day On your holidays La 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 Yes, I thought. Everything is different. But this is my holiday. Daddy, can I get an ice cream? Yes, come on then. It's fun. Here we go. Hola, ¿quieres uno? The lady in the ice cream shop said, Hello. I like the lady. My ice cream was different. Mmm. But my ice cream was the best. We went for a swim on the road. There were other children swimming too. The children said hello. Hola. I like the other children. In the town, Mummy bought me the pretty dress. I liked everything different. Maybe you can look at I like nice. the lady at the shop. Gracias. Gracias. But I didn't understand Gracias. what she said. Adios. We went down to the beach. There were other children on the beach. Hola. The children said hello. When we had lunch, it was cooked on the beach. 
paella, said Daddy. My favourite. With lots of flames and bubbling. While we waited for the paella to cook, I played on the climbing frame. Oh no, there were some other children. They said, hello. I like the other children. When we ate the paella, it was so good. It had prawns and chicken and rice. Mm. The climbing frame children were sitting at a table next to me. They waved and said, hello. I wanted to say hello too, but I didn't know how. Hey Tig, we're on holiday in Spain. Everyone here speaks in a different way to us. That's no worry. We can speak like them too. We can speak Spanish. See? See. What does everyone say to you? Hello. Hello. Hola. Hola. You understand. Hola is hello. Now you can say hola too. Hola. Yeah. La 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 la. have even more holiday fun. I can talk to everyone. Hola. Hola, I said to my friends. Hola, my friend said to me. After lunch, I played on the beach with my friends. We talked lots. Siesta time, said Mummy. Siesta time. And adios. Adios. Goodbye, I waved to my friends. It was so hot. We had to sleep after our lunch. That's great. Two days for one in Spain? Two days for one, said Daddy. Everything was so different. That night, I wore my pretty new dress. Children were dancing. said my friends. Hola. There was so much dancing, and laughing, and clapping. Hola. When a man saw Wooly, he stamped his feet right. It's only a toy spider. I liked my holiday. I liked everything being different. And I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were here. Excited. When I was little, I went to a festival. Wooly came too. The festival was like a long fairy tale land. Some people were still like statues. A man floated. A mermaid smiled. A man was so still. A seagull sat on his hat. I was excited. Ooh, there was a noise like a vacuum cleaner. The man blew a big bag and played a tune. I did a wee dance. I was all excited and bubbly inside. There was a man in the middle of the street. The man juggled. The juggling man asked Daddy to hold the ladder. Then the juggler climbed the ladder and juggled. Everywhere, everyone was so excited. People dancing, people singing. But the most exciting thing of everything
everything was my friend Angel. Angel was there too. I was so excited. I wanted to cry and laugh. I wanted Angel to bubble like me. I hugged Angel hard. But Angel wasn't excited. Mummy said, calm down, Tig. Mummy took me to listen to a lady playing music. I don't want to listen to the lady. I think we're all getting a little bit overexcited. I wanted to be excited. Mummy was spoiling the fun. Hey, Tig. Mummy's not spoiling the fun. Mummy is a bit worried, that's all. It's fun being excited, but it's no fun being too excited. Being too excited is like bubbling over. <laughs> being too excited is like not knowing whether to laugh or cry or jump up and down. <laughs> Too excited can be scary. Scary for everyone. Being too excited can make the magic go away. So sometimes when you are bubbling up with excitement, it's fun to stop for a moment. Be still, as still as a statue. It's magic and fun for everyone. So go for it, Tig. Have an exciting or magic time. Yes, I thought. I like to be excited, but I don't want to bubble over. Well done, Tig. You seem a lot calmer now. Come on, let's go and have some fun. I had fun being a statue. Angel played statues too. We were very still. A lady as still as a statue saw Willy. She moved. It's only a toy spider. It's only my toy spider, I said. I like exciting magical days. I like bubbling inside. And I love Willy. We've been Funny tummy. When I was little, I loved my nursery school. Willie liked my nursery school too. I liked my nursery teacher, Miss Claire. I liked all my friends. We liked playing together. I liked Hashim. Hashim was funny. Hashim got excited a lot. Hashim shouted a lot. Hashim laughed a lot. One day, Hashim pushed me. I didn't like Hashim. I didn't like my nursery school. The next day on the way to nursery school, my tummy hurt. Daddy? Yeah? I have a sore tummy. Whereabouts? All right, come on, I think we should go home. On, Daddy took me home. The next day on the way to nursery school, my tummy hurt again. Daddy. Yeah. I've got the sore tummy. Shall we maybe go and try and see the doctor? Shall we go and see? Come on then. Poor Tig. Tig Jameson, doctor will see you doctor, now. Thank you. Daddy took me to see the doctor. Hello, Tig. Come on in and have a seat. I liked going to the doctor. Now, what can we do for you today? I've got a sore tummy. Oh, dear. The doctor asked me about the pain in my tummy. The doctor said hand? to lie oh, down fantastic. on a big bed. Just go to lift your top up like this and then have a wee feel of your tummy. The doctor felt my tummy. She listened to my inside. Let's have a wee listen and see what noises your tummy's making. Nothing to worry about, said the doctor. Tell me how you feel tomorrow. I like the doctor. She made my tummy better. Daddy 
said we can have a fun day together. Daddy took me to a park. Make sure Willie doesn't fly away. After the park, we went to a cafe. We were having fun. How's your sore tummy? Said Daddy. Gone, I said. Doctor made it better. Good, said Daddy. Maybe you can go back to nursery school tomorrow. My tummy didn't feel very well again. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when your tummy feels funny. Maybe your tummy feels funny because things are not quite right inside your tummy. But maybe your tummy feels funny because something is worrying you outside. Hey, Tig, something is worrying you outside, isn't it? Hashim, you're worrying about Hashim because he can be a bit rough sometimes. When you have a worry like that, you must tell someone. Tell Miss Claire. Tell Daddy. Sharing worries can help other people sort them out for you. Sharing worries will help your tummy feel a whole lot better again. Go for it, Tig. Share your worries and tell Daddy. Yes, I thought. I'll tell Daddy about Hashim. Hashim. Who's he? I'm here to go at my nursery. He pushed me. When I told Daddy about Hashim, my tummy didn't feel funny anymore. I told Claire about Hashim too. Yes, Tig? Hashim pushed me. Thank you very much for telling me, Tig. We'll speak about it later, OK? My tummy didn't hurt anymore. When I showed Willie to Hashim, it's only a toy spider. He ran away. I like my nursery school. I like Hashim. I love Willie.